We are two joyful artists. Yeah. That's the way we see ourselves and for moving forward as well, because we're not going back. More and more I'm using my imagination, but there's still some realism in them. I have tried to do totally abstract work, and I don't like it as well. <laughs> I really like it to have some uh, relationship to reality. This is the third exhibition that Eileen and I have had together. It's very symbiotic. People walk in and, th you know, they ask, did you talk to each other beforehand and plan it? No, we know each other's work. We know each other's, I would say, approach and style. What I really like about Eileen's work is I can go right into it. I don't have to go around it. I go into it. And the same with yours, really. Your use of color is really beautiful. And if you look really closely at your work, you can see the layers, how you've put the layers of the different colors up with different textures so that you see the other layers below it. It's difficult when you first start it, when you first become an abstract painter, because you, it's like, it's one of those things where you look at something that I can do that. And then you go to do it and you're like, no, the balance is missing, the, the rhythm's missing, all the ingredients of good abstract art means that you have to work on it just as much as you do with representational work. Yeah. I think it's harder. Yeah, it is. To do something really good. Yeah, because it's becoming your voice. Right. It, yeah, you're not, you, you know, don't have some, a model in front of you to look at. Okay. You know, and, and you'll also have people say, what is it? Yeah. And it's like, you know, and that's a voice that's inside your head when you're first doing it. But now we're two joyful, mature <laughs> artists. We don't have it in our head anymore. <laughs>